Hey everybody, welcome back to Stormwall Penal Penitentiary. Part s part five. So we are back here in this place and part of the antenna was loose. We can take this antenna, apparently. But I don't know what we're gonna do with it. And I can't figure out this draw. I don't know if that it's got something to do with the birthday or something to do with this number code. I'm guessing this somewhere we're gonna find some kind of like scribble that like you know lays out a path here somewhere that we have to put over there. And that will give us the numbers that we need, but I don't see anything like that anywhere around here, I don't think. Do I? And that says the lockbox. Get well soon. Uh, we've got this antenna now, so I wonder if we can use it to pick any locks. I heard footsteps uh -oh. coming down the staircase. Oh my god, who was it? Let me just go see if I can unlock any doors with my antenna. See if I'm a master lockpick. No? Oh, God. Bagger! I want... What have I got a bloody antenna for, then? Okay, I heard sounds. Let's just go down here and... Ah! What oh the hell, God. man? We're all going to die! Jesus! <laughs> that actually made me jump. Oh, come on, have a sense of humor. Oh, you. How'd you like my acting back there in the cafeteria? Pretty good, huh? Bastard. You aren't funny. I think you're the one who needs to get a sense of humor. Yeah. Lighten up! If we're gonna be stuck here the whole night, I'm not gonna be the one to get voted out or. Whatever the hell is going on here. It's not a reality show, Please Lewis. Justice or die. <laughs> if you ask me, this is some new reality show crap or something. Whatever this is, I'm gonna win it. No, you're not. <laughs> you're an idiot. Yeah, he's an idiot. I'm sorry, but you're an idiot. We're in real danger here, Lewis. I am from Hollywood, you know. I know when a stunt's being pulled. When 6 a.m. rolls around, there's going to be some stuffy guy in a cheap suit waiting at the entrance with an oversized check to give to one of us. And I'm going to make sure that person is me. He's delusional. <laughs> so, you're an actor. Have you been in any movies I've seen? You have had the pleasure of looking at the star of the Blood Rifle series. Um... <laughs> I've never heard of it, Lewis. Cowboy and the Bear? Nope. Captain Bellstrand and the Viper Raiders? No. Sorry. Sorry. Bah, you need to get out more. Really? Maybe I just don't shop in bargain bins for... DVDs, man. Do you have anything to hide, Lewis? Hide? Our captor claims we all murdered someone. Nah, I mean, well, there is one thing, but it wasn't my fault. What is it? My, my, we are curious, aren't we? Yes, I am curious. Well, I'm... Sure, it'll help ratings. There must be some hidden cameras here somewhere. <sighs> They're not hidden cameras. They're all around. As I said, it wasn't my fault. Come on, what so did you do, there man? Yeah, oh, flashback. Cool. A few months ago, I was filming a low-budget thriller that my agent recommended. A big mistake on my head. Anyway, it was pretty early in the morning, late in the shoot, and I was in my trailer, hard at work on something. 
Before I know, the director is pounding on the door, telling me to get out there because my scene is coming up. Oh. Oh, God. Get your skinny ass out here. I'm coming in. Luis Alga. That sounds familiar. This particular scene wasn't very big, mind you. I just had to stand in place while this huge piece of metal debris flew over my head. Since I was currently in the middle of something, I told the director, oh so politely, to have my stunt double do it. Well, as it turns out, the effect went wrong and the poor bastard gets crushed by the metal debris. <laughs> Hardly my fault, right? You don't sound very sympathetic. Hey, that's life. Anything else? <laughs> Is there anything else I should know? I guarantee you this is some sort of Hollywood stunt. Why else would I be here? Because you're the I killer. I if they give out acting awards for reality shows. I think I'm going to go look around. Good luck, Lewis. Tell you what, if you stop bothering me, I'll give you some of my winnings when this is all over. I'm not bothering you, Lewis. You're bothering me. I just came down here and you popped your head out there. Thinking that you were funny when you weren't. Lewis Algar. So, Lewis is a grade A asshole. Not that I hadn't already figured that out. He was definitely responsible for someone's death, albeit indirectly. The more I talk to this guy, the less I can stand him, but could he be the one keeping us here? My instinct says no, but I've been wrong before. It's been hours since I've had a drink. Nauseous and my head is pounding. Uh, so, uh, I mean, if that's the guy, though, that he's supposed to have killed... And that's why he's been abducted and brought here. I mean, I have to think, I have to agree with Lewis, so it's not really his fault, is it? It's an accident. So, there, what do you think about that masked figure? Huh? Yeah! I was wondering when you'd show Oh, not this guy again. That came from the other room. Who's he talking to? What time is it? It's getting close to the one o'clock when someone's gonna die. Businesswoman, huh? Is that what you call yourself these days? Well, no, she said she was a lawyer, actually. You know, for a movie star, you're not much of an actor. You should have seen the look of recognition on your face when you first saw me. I'm surprised no one noticed. Hey, how was I supposed to know you were here? No one else knew each other. Shh. No one can know that we know each other. You didn't seem to be hiding that little fact a few weeks ago on set. That was before. Your husband. Right. I was cleared of all charges, you know. It wasn't too hard, either. Drop my husband a nice warm bath. Fabricate a suicide note. Accidentally tossed the curling iron in. How devious. And the best part is, it wasn't even my idea. Now I wonder whose little idea that could have been. Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. <coughs> Uh-oh, so it looks like Becca killed her husband, and I'm going to assume that it was Lewis's idea, and I was supposed to assume she was the one in the trailer with him, or not. I don't know, that would seem to make sense. Or maybe not, or did he say, I can't remember when he said that was. So anyway, obviously she killed her husband, and Lewis was a part of it. We've got more thoughts. Secrets and lies. Louis Algar and Becca Rani know each other. That's a surprise. They claim to want to keep their relationship a secret, but they don't seem too shy about showing it. 
How they can think about sex at a time like this beats me, but hey. Whatever floats their boat, right? We all have our vices. Did Becca really kill her husband? And did Lewis know about it? Who are these people? I wonder what other secrets people are hiding. I think they're hiding a lot of secrets there, old William. Well, is this one locked or what? What am I supposed to do with my... My thing there? Oh, God. Oh, that's me. You fall for somebody else. Oh, shit. Oh, God. We're falling down a pit. Better not be dead. Jason, is that you? Hi, Dad. Hey, Chase. You're alive, son. Hey, bud. What you doing? Drawing mazes. Mazes, huh? Do you ever have any trouble finding your way out of them? No. I know a secret. <laughs> What's the secret? Always stay glued to one of the walls. That way, no matter what, you'll always find your way out. <laughs> That's very clever, son. Hmm, that is clever, I actually. You, I love you too, Jason. Oh, where are we now? Oh, I must have lost consciousness from the fall. How long was I out? Hello? Grayson? Anyone? Damn. I must be too far underground for the signal to get through. <clears throat> the sewers. Losing consciousness twice in one night. That's something I'd recommend. I dreamt of Jason again, this time with the conversation we had about always following the right wall to get out of mazes. Damn it, why can't my mind let it be? Especially given present circumstances. I fell down a shaft and somehow ended up in the sewers. I'm lucky I didn't injure myself. I need to find a way out of here and fast. I'm sweating, the sewage isn't helping my nausea and I'm so thirsty. Okay, so I have to stick to a wall then, to the gate. Let's check my mappings. Two exits. This way, to the dead end. Let's check that out first. Aha! A wheel! I will rotate this wheel! I wonder what this does. We're gonna find out, Will. We're gonna rotate it. The wheel is too high oh, up. You I can't reach loser. it. God, it doesn't look too high up, does it, you loser? Lots and lots of soup. Oh, goody. I'm gonna stink now, man. Can I use my... Antenna on it. The antenna would reach the wheel, but it's not strong enough to turn it. Oh, is it not? What if I bind it in tape? No. Bugger off then. I'm gonna go back to the landing. I don't care about you. <laughs> okay, to the gate. Gate. There was no way I could squeeze through those bars. Oh, don't be so defeatist. Just give it a try to the sludge. Oh, sewage. Lovely. Oh, the stench of this place will haunt me till the end of my days. Hmm, well, if we don't get a move on, that could be sooner than we think. What's that? I don't have anything. To the gate. <sighs> How am I going to get through the gate, man? Obviously, there's nothing down here. So, I had no clue as what to do with the gate. Can I put my thing through there? 
the antenna was nowhere near strong enough to bend the bars. Well, I wasn't trying to bend the bars. I'm not that silly. Find a way out of the sewer. I keep forgetting to check my objective, actually. Find a way out of the sewerage system. Uh. Well, there's nothing here. Sludge. Gate. Sewage. What if we put my thing down into the sewage and see if we find anything? Nope. Okay. Guess we don't do that then. To the landing. We can go to the gate or to the dead end. So, oh, wooden planks. Ah. From the number of broken planks on the ground. I guess this wasn't the first time the basement walkway collapsed. It's a trap laid by Jigsaw to trap me. Okay, so I've got some wooden planks now. Or a wooden plank, a sturdy wooden plank. Does that mean I can walk over the sewage? Let me try that. Maybe it'll work. No, it does not work. Maybe I can use it to turn the wheel. Da -da 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 -da, turning the wheel. Yay! Yay! Clockwise! The wooden planks split in half from the force of rotating the wheel. It sounded like turning the wheel caused the sludge to flow. Yay! That's the way I do it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, the thing's gone that was there. Yay! Crowbar! This might be just what I need. Give it to me then. Oh, and an old mattress. How does a discarded mattress end up in the sewers? There's all sorts in the sewers. Actually, we we'll will be almost above us again. Now it's in the sewers. You'll find there's lots of things down there you wouldn't expect, like crocodiles, and snakes, and lizards, and sewer monsters. I'm gonna use this. Here! It took every ounce of strength I had, but I used the crowbar <laughs> to bend bars and grab passage <laughs> to the other side. Uh, I'm not convinced you could do that, really. Bridge, wheel... <coughs> mm. Ah, another wheel. I'm guessing that this wheel controls the bridge. Ah. If only this bridge could be turned. It can be turned. The wheel was stuck due to rust. Oh no, it's a good job I have a crowbar then. The wheel is rusted. I'll need to loosen it up first if I want to turn it. Well, how am I going to do that? That's why I've got a bloody crowbar, isn't it, to loosen it up? The wheel is rusted. I'll loosen you up in a minute. Anything else? What exits do we have? One exit, though. One new exit to the bridge. Okay, maybe, uh, can I use my antenna on this? The wheel is run. Ah, right then. Well, what then? Oh, what? Uh, wow, well, there we go. Landing. Landing! Can I get another plank? No, I can. What's going on here? Oh, I can re I can rotate the wheel again. The wheel is too high up. I can't reach it. Oh, what if we have a crowbar? Oh, what if we do it clockwise again? The wheel would not turn oh. further in that direction. No. What if you turn it counterclockwise then? Um. 
Oh no, what did that do? Did that bring the sludge back? Oh, what happened in here? Did anything change in here? No? To the sludge! The sludge is back! What am I supposed to do with the sludge? Oh no! Something tells me I need to have the oh, back. Something tells me I need to have the sludge out of there. But then why give me the option to put it back? Oh, I moved it counterclockwise again. What happened there? What happened this time? Nice. There was still some oil Ow. left inside. Goody, that's what I'm gonna use to loosen up the wheel. Thanks, sewage. I'm gonna use that on there. I used the remainder of the oil in the canister to lubricate the wheel. Good job, William. You're getting better at your thing, whatever. Go on! <laughs> Shit, the crowbar's stuck in the wheel. I'll have to leave it there. How could it be stuck in the wheel? I don't think it will be stuck in the wheel. That crowbar was... Oh, goody. Wonderful. More soon. Oh, no. Is this a maze, then? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. No oh, fuck. <laughs> Shitting fuck. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Ah, back the fuck off! That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I need to catch my breath. Oh god. Oh fuck me! What? Ah! My frame rate is dropping! Oh you friggin' boss! I can't be dull! No. I died! You son of a bitch. Fuck, just, just fucking get the hell out of here, man. Can't take much more. Well, run, man! Where, where, where are we? Ah! Oh, balls! Oh, I think the door will hold. Whew. Thank God. Damn. I couldn't take much more of that. That was actually legitimately creepy. <laughs> That's pretty good for an adventure game. I am impressed. You stay behind there, biological hazard. Yeah. That's one door I'm happy to never reopen. I hope there wasn't anything in that room back there that I could have got. I doubt it. I am not going to turn the lights off. It's frightening enough down here as it is. Ooh, where are we? Okay. Let's bloody go. Ah. Barrel. Unless that's a cask of liquor, I'm not interested. Why was that guy coming after me though? What time is it? Oh, it's 1am now, look. Oh, shit, so someone's going to die. And it almost was me. A metal cabinet labeled breathing apparatus. Ah, that could be useful. <clears throat> the cabinet oh, is securely locked. Why is everything locked? I need that. What's the point of having that bloody antenna? Ah, the laundry key. Yes, give it to me. No, go back. I've got some thoughts going on. The judge, so he's a judge. Jigsaw judge. Judge Jigsaw. 
I saw him. How oh, a captain, or should I say, killer? He's dressed like a judge, and he's holding an oversized gavel. Ordinarily, I'd say it looks fucking ridiculous, but he didn't hesitate to come at me with that thing. Look, he got away. Oh. Oh, I read that. Did I read that? I think so. Okay, so I've got a laundry key now. That's good. I was eager to get out of the sewers and had no... Okay, then. <laughs> Sign. Up is good. Up is good. You got that right. Let's get the hell out of here, then. Oh, thank... Oh, look, wait, wait. What the hell? What the hell was that noise? Did, did something crash? Jesus, Mom. What the hell? Oh no, Jigsaw killed somebody. One down. <laughs> Exterminate. I'm not going back down there. Fuck that. Right, well, we shall leave that episode there, I think, and now pick it up next time and go in the laundry room, because I have the laundry key. Key now look there you go. More key labelled laundry. Jeez man, that was actually quite scary. I didn't like seeing the bloody judge coming at me. And I died as well, but luckily it's alright, you just start again, so it's alright. When that was not like that bloody other game, what is it? Black original black mirror where you just click on something randomly and then die. I don't care for that. Anyway, please like and comment and subscribe and I shall see you next time. Bye.